you know, sometimes we look at the Ten Commandments and we see them as the, the ten don'ts, you know. But when you really understand what it is the commandments are telling you to do, you wouldn't find them to be so um, offensive because what they're telling you to do is simply, as I've said before, love. All the commandments can be summed up by love. Is it a loving thing to murder your neighbor? No. Is it a loving thing to commit adultery with your neighbor's wife or husband? No. Is it a loving thing to, to you know, covet or envy what other people have or steal what they have or lie about them? No, those aren't loving things. Nor is it loving to the God who created us to love other things more than him or to worship other gods or to use his name as a swear word. What the Lord is telling us to do in the commandments is simply to love him. And he's worthy of our love. And he's telling us to love our neighbor. That's all he's really asking us to do. So it's a good thing. And if we see that as bad, it just shows you how evil sin really is that can make us look at something that is so good and think that it is so bad. Well, as I've said, love is what's behind the commandments. He wants us to love him as we should with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Now, the Bible says that if you will trust Jesus and if you will turn from your sins, stop hating people, stop hating God, and begin loving him and loving others, not only will he forgive all your guilt, any one sin of which could condemn you forever, he'll forgive all of those things so that you'll never be afraid of hell again. But he will also give you his own son's perfect record of obedience so that you will be able to enter into heaven. You won't have to stick your foot in the door. And you won't have to try to amass enough good works to try to outweigh any bad works because you can't do that. You can't do good works. And you can never outweigh your bad ones, certainly. One bad work is enough to condemn you. But Jesus will forgive all that and he will give you a perfect record by which you can enter into heaven if you simply trust in him.